Mark and you met? We fell in love. Why are you telling me this? I want you to know who it was. What are you doing here? Why did you come to my house? Kay, I knew so little about him. I had to see where he lived just once before I left England. I asked you what you're doing in my house. I didn't mean to come inside, believe me. I walked through the village and past the house. Then I saw Brian. And when he talked to me, I couldn't seem to move away. Then you asked me in. Okay, I couldn't help it. Don't you understand? Oh, yes. I understand. I understand a lot of things now. Why you wanted to be friends. Why you helped with the broadcasts. And why you stayed in the house. Kay, please. What are you trying to do? Take Mark away from me even after his death. Say anything you want. I'm sorry, Sarah. I didn't give you enough assistance. No one could expect you to write properly about him without knowing all the intimate details. I'll try and make that up to you now. We were married in that village. The reception took place in this room. We spent our wedding night in this house. Do you want to know what he said to me that night? And all the other nights we were together? And when Brian was born? Shall I tell you about that, or did you find out about it in London? I didn't know Mark was married until the day before he died. Of course not. And I was the one who invited you into this house. You didn't want to come in. And Mark's picture got smashed by accident. You, you brushed up against it. You weren't holding it. I've heard about as much as I can stand. I don't want any more lies. I want you to go.